Hey everyone, so I'm here with Joey and we're really excited because today it's Joey's day. He wants to get his boobies done. Yes. And we are at Tutela Plastic Surgery, our good friend and doctor, um, John Paul Tutela. So we're going to go see him today for Joey's consultation for his boobs. Yep. And Joey's getting surgery. Yeah, I'm so excited. Why don't you join me? Let's go. Come on in. Dr. Tuteller! Come on, call me! Alright. Okay, Dr. Tuteller. So. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. I'm so excited. Alright. So, me as too. you know, we've talked before, and I have gynecomastia. Yeah. That male, and that's been there forever. And I was really, really skinny for a, a little bit. That didn't last long. But I still yeah. had them. It's because it's like they're, they're like cone. Can I say tits on TV? They quote tits. Uh -huh. So it's like they're very triangular. And I wear a girdle. I wear a Spanx for men every day under my shirts since I was probably 12 years old. Okay. Well, we could fix that. Yeah. It's for been sure. a real tr real trouble. Right. And um, yeah, you, I'll show you what I work with and you show me what we can do. I mean, I don't know if I need to, like, you tell me what you, when you see it. But I don't know if it's need, like, the nipple, like, taken off and, like, sucked out uh -huh. so it's flatter. Sure. So what I'm looking for is, like, like a flatter. Okay. Appearance. I mean, I'd like to keep some meat so I don't look like um, a, like a potato head. Like, you know, it's tiny on top and then like big on the sides. Yep. We're going to go for that triangle shape. Absolutely. Is that what it's called? The V shape? Yeah. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah. Okay. Should I take my top off? Uh, yeah, let's take a look. You know, this is the first time this has happened in a while in front of a man. Zoom in. Stop getting me to the. Yeah, let's take a look. Actually, stand, stand up. up. Yeah, I'm going to just take a whole bunch of measurements. Okay. And then we'll kind of go from there. Last time. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Very, very, very. 48? Right, 48. Look at that. It's like you've done this before. Well, I just tried to buy suits online and I measured myself. Uh-huh. 44. Whoa. <laughs> it's big. You're buff. All right, 44 and a half. Um, but yeah, I definitely see what you're saying here. Here. That's a little bit. And like, I'd like to keep some meat, yeah. So it's not like flat, thick. So it looks like, but you mm -hmm. know what you're doing. But it's like balanced, like yeah. so. But um, definitely square. Like I never had that square. Mm -hmm. So it was always like pointy and triangle. So I don't know if like this can be like pulled up or something. Yeah, I think we'll probably do a combination of uh, liposuction and direct gland excision. So yeah. So the nipple will always be. It's hard now, but it'll sort of lay flat. Exactly. So we'll do some liposuction to kind of debulk the area. And usually, and I can feel a little bit of a firmness right underneath the nipple. <laughs> well! Uh, we're going to cut that out directly with a little incision under the uh, areola. So do I have to have that, like, um, the full, like... Lollipop? The incision the, here? Yeah. You know, I think that we're, the best way forward is actually to try and stay away from that. Me too. Because we could always come back and do that if we need Another to. Another like We don't burn any bridges. I don't think we'll need to. I think we'll get everything taken care of just with the liposuction and direct gland excision. Yeah. Um, and then we'll kind of combo that with just some other liposuction like nearby. Yeah, exactly. Just to kind of get the whole shape, you know, uh, a little bit more like like uh, what your goals are. How exciting. So where the incision will be on my nipple? You have a little incision here and here. And then you'll have some small ones from uh, the lipo. From liposuction cannula. Now, will I lose sensitivity in my nipples? Uh, you shouldn't. Okay. Certainly, every time you operate near there, you can. Right. Um, usually, if you do, it's temporary. Do they still get hard nipples? Uh, yeah. Oh. Well, that's interesting. Um, and then, like shape-wise, do you think I would need to do like anything here? I, I think that if we kind of address some of this here and here as well, you're gonna love. You're How's gonna that? Love just it. that's just little holes. Of lipo? Just mo more liposuction. So there'll be a little hole here. Some where? Hole. Here? Yep, right there in your belly button. Where my, you can put it right where my um, belly button ring was. It'll go right near there. <laughs> okay, girl. Absolutely. I've so been you, preparing for this my made, whole life. You made the access incision already. Yeah, I already did that for you. Um, and then probably two and two more there. I love it. Now, what's the um, downtime after this? I'm not going to be doing any hard yeah. labor, but like... I would say most people take a week off of their daily responsibilities, whatever yeah. that is. You know? I'm fine with for that. For one week, nobody should count on you for anything. They don't, anyway. Okay, all right. Well, that's good. Um, and then... And two weeks, no cardio. Yeah, girl. You I'm know. Doing a little, you're doing the cardio for me, Dr. Tell. Right. Now... Um, you're gonna, and you're going to be in a compression garment That's what I mean. Weeks. So they're going to wear a girdle for six weeks? Six weeks, 24 hours a day. And then, if you can, the next six weeks for part of the How day. How do you shower? Uh, with it off. Okay. 
And then what about drains? I because I know that I've seen them on, online where they have like blood tubes coming out of them. Am I gonna have that? I I don't use those at all. I've got me either. I what I usually do is leave one of these incisions open, so it'll just kind of drain Naturally. out of there and like onto like a, onto a little what? pad or whatever. So I have to I have to take a little pad. I'll change. Yeah, we'll get a little pad that you change. Yeah. How long do you think the surgery will take to do? Four hours? Uh, yeah, something like that because we'll you know address your chest and your body too at the same time. So yeah, probably about four hours. It's a lot of work, but oh, we'll do it. Well, Chelsea, you're gonna help, right? Yeah, I'll be there. Okay. Well, this is, um, what other, oh, that's what I want to show you. I have some reference oh. photos. All right, let's do it. This is, the, I have one photo that I do, I, I like, I'm afraid that what I would look like if I adjusted my titties. May I say uh -huh. that on camera? See like how it's like a bowling, uh, like a, pin, a bowling pin? Yeah. Where it's not, like tight and top, small and top to see Chelsea? Mm -hmm. not and then happen. just like that. So like, I, I want the reverse. I want big, <laughs> white yeah, here. Yeah. And then these are just uh, people that. that I think I would like to look like. Do you think we can achieve this look in one session? <laughs> I'm uh, kidding. But no, see the we'll side get, profile? We'll get close. That's the side profile I'm looking for. I'm not yeah. going to be muscular like him, but sure. see how my side profile is cone to these? Mm -hmm. And like when I go like this, it's yeah. like yep. that, gross. Yep. Uh -huh. um, so I'd like a side profile like him, and, and I, if you could find his phone number for me, Chelsea, you might want to do that. Yeah, um, I'll work on it. <laughs> um, and you know, not I don't want abs, like, but you know, just a side That's profile, great. so it's not cone tits and it's like yeah. flat and square. And then in in reality, we're going to be able to actually achieve a uh, pretty good shape, even just here on the front side with some abdominal you, etching. This stuff here. Yeah. What do you do here? Well, we'll liposuck all through here, <laughs> and all through here. And that's where you take that pole and go. <laughs> that's right. I'm so excited. I'm excited. It's going to be great. Oh my God. Do you have any questions for me? <laughs> the fans, do you have any questions for me or Dr. Tutella? Hi, I'm uh, Dr. John Paul Tutella. I'm a board certified plastic surgeon. have an office in Livingston, New Jersey and in New York City. Um, what we have here is uh, Joey, who's a fantastic candidate for gynecomastia uh, correction and um, uh, liposculpture. Uh, and what we're going to do is uh, decrease the prominence of his breasts um and get a nice shape to his side and his chest to uh you know kind of balance everything out together uh he's a great candidate uh we're both excited for surgery and uh we'll see uh what comes next uh you could follow me on instagram at tutella ps so then after now i just schedule the surgery yeah and we'll then... just schedule you get you on the uh calendar yes um and then you'll you tell know, me when to get the blood work yeah kate's going to be in touch with you to kind of prep you for the day of surgery okay. make sure we have the right garment and stuff like that and mm -hmm. then um that's it and then i'm going to see you the day of surgery i really appreciate everything dr tell this is so exciting and you're going to change my life okay. i'm being a brand new man that's great i can't All wait right. it's going to be great thank you so much all right take Bye. care <sighs> All right, you guys, so thank you so much to Dr. Tutella. Oh, there you go. Okay. Thank you so much to Dr. Tutella. Make sure you guys follow him. He's amazing. He does all my Botox. He did my boobies after I had a baby. And now he's doing Joey. So make sure you guys stay tuned because our next follow-up video is Joey surgery. Oh. And um, yeah, how are you going to look? I am so excited. You look amazing. Oh, I am so excited. Follow along on my journey with me. And it's going to be like my friends are with me and everything will be just fine. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Yes, comment below, like our video, and subscribe. Mwah. All right, switch your arms around and turn that way. Chelsea, do people say crazy shit when they're under, under anesthesia? Uh, not really. Not too bad. Well, buckle up, sister. I'm, <laughs> I'm a little loony. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>